Hey there guys, what is happening today? It's Drew here and I thought I would do a quick little video on uh, Fibonacci and trading with uh, Fibonacci uh, patterns and such, okay? So um, uh, thinking of that and me just saying trading with Fibonacci, probably a lot of you guys that are, are new to trading or maybe you've been trading a couple of years and, and you never seen anybody trade with uh, Fibonacci, you're probably thinking, man, that sounds difficult or that just sounds kind of wacky, wacky tobacco type thing. Um, no, it's not, guys. It's very, very extremely helpful to understand um, how Fibonacci works and that, you know, there's indicators that you can use um, to find uh, uh, Fib Fibonacci uh, channels, basically, okay? So, or patterns, I should say, uh, depending on what kind of uh, Fibonacci you're using. So, I like to use the Fibonacci fan tool, which is this, this one down here. I don't know if you can see that. We'll move it up here. Uh, it's this tool right here, which is... Um, over here, okay, it's it's that right there, so uh, where is it? This one right here, okay? And then also I like to use Fib Circles, which is right here, and also I've saved it in my favorites there. So so to, to make a favorites bar like I have right here, um, you, you basically just kind of mess around trading view, find what you like, find what's useful. Um, you know, go out there, watch other YouTubers, uh, uh, look at their content, see what they're using, and give it a shot as well. Um, you know, basically guys, just what, what suits you and what's easy for you to follow is, is really what you want to do. Uh, you know, you want to learn also how to read the chart and, um, you know, cause when we do get into a cycle where we start going sideways or we start going down or it becomes choppy, um, it, you know, you're probably going to lose money if you can't read a chart. Uh, so it's good to to tackle these type type of things and, and learn Fibonacci and and learn how to you know uh, create uh, channels and and you know find patterns and stuff like that in your trading. So, anyways, um, I like to have a favorites bar. So that's basically if you just star things, you can um, make a favorites bar. And this is kind of my favorite. I don't even know if that's what's called favorites bar, but anyways, that's what I call it. So it's got all my little. Oh no, they just call it toolbar. So it's got all my favorite <clears throat> things on there that I use all the time. So we're going to go and we'll start with a, 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 a brand new fresh page here. We'll get rid of everything on our page. So that's the Fibonacci fan. I'll show you guys how to use that. And I think you can kind of see how to use it there. <laughs> I just deleted it. We'll get rid of the uh, Ikimoku cloud there. And we've got just a basic chart so if you were to open up your uh, uh, bitcoin chart this is basically what you'd be looking at um, when i use fibonacci i like to go to a six hour chart just to have less candles and, and more more time on there because um, with fibonacci guys you want to basically start at a low point and then end on a high point um, to start your fibonacci retracements and in that type of thing okay so first thing i should probably talk about is what the hell is fibonacci so basically just go to the internet. Guys, go to Google and type in Fibonacci so I don't have to talk about what it actually is because I'll probably mess up explaining it. Uh, uh, but basically, it's kind of like space and time, I guess, is <laughs> what I would explain it as. Uh, space and time and patterns, I guess. <laughs> so anyways, we, to use it, guys, you don't really have to know exactly what it is. You just have to identify... Um, uh, identify the pattern that the Fibonacci is telling you this could possibly be um, uh, support and resistance. And that's all that Fibonacci is in, in trading, guys, is support and resistance. Like, there's no point in making it some kind of difficult thing. It's It looks confusing when someone is using Fibonacci retracement patterns on their chart, guys, because it looks like, you know, here, we'll just do a chart here really fast. So the first thing you'd want to do is you'd want to use a fan pattern and go to a low, uh, low point on your chart. So I've got this thing on the six hour chart. I've got it backed way out to, you know, the end of uh, November there. You can see there's 23rd of November. I've um, found a low here. So I'll go from the lowest that I can see on my page and I'll just trace that out. This is the fan, so you can move it around. So you wanna go from a low point to a high point. There's no really right or wrong to this. It's just if you go to a low point to the high point on your chart, right? So even if I was to go to there, it's going to find retracement patterns, right? Like anywhere, like I could go to here, it's going to find retracement patterns. What I like to do and what I've been trained to do from buying trainings out there, guys, 
um, is I just go from the lowest point I can see on the six hour chart to the highest point I can see on the six hour chart. So this is our all time high right here for as of right now. And that's the low of uh, November 26 is when that low was. So if we go here and then just by looking at this guys, you can see what's going on here. It's, it's pretty freaking simple, right? It's finding support and resistance from the low here to the high here. And it's kind of like some kind of magical thing. It's just weird, guys, how this Fibonacci stuff works out. Like you can see there, the trading is based off Fibonacci. Like definitely, there's no way around it. Even down to the really, really, like if I was to zone in on here and go to the five minute chart, you'd see that these patterns line up even on the five minute chart, on the 15 minute chart, um, you know, on all time frames really. Like I could go way down here to say the one hour chart and look at that. Like you can see, um, you know, it might not be bang on, but you can see there, like this is definitely, this. this is a channel here. There's a low, there's a high. Look, it lines perfectly with that. Um, you know, guys, it's it's just really, really neat to see that. So um, Fibonacci is very, very good to find where possibly the market could drop to, right? So very strong, and you can see it's on an angle. Like, it's not a straight line. Like, you can see this little pointer thing here is a straight line, right? So you can see it's on an angle. Okay, so this is your Fibonacci fan, and if if this was to fall here, we know Fibonacci is basically telling us this is very strong support. Okay, down here around this area, down here strong support, down here around this area strong support, strong support, and also it works on the way up too. So right now, in 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 trading guys, there's a problem is that we've hit an all-time high. What happens if this all-time high is broken? Where's the support and resistance above this all-time high, okay? You could go and manually draw lines across the tops of these peaks and bottoms and stuff like that, and you would find support and resistance above where, where uh, trading has not happened yet, okay? So this is when you go and you see traders talking about, oh, it could go to, like when I posted in the group the other day, oh, it could go to 50 thousand dollars and it went to 48,000 something something like which was you know pretty damn close right guessing from 30 thirty thousand dollars or something like that um how did i figure that out i figured that out with fibonacci okay fibonacci uh patterns basically told me this is possibly where it could go if if it takes off okay so that's that's how most traders figure things out is with fibonacci or if they're looking um uh like over here and we're <clears throat> where's my group there it is right there and i use the channels a lot okay so you know resistance support if we're here and we're seeing some resistance i know that or sorry some support and it, the support catches like it did here and we're going to go up and we're going to make some gains i know that the next resistance point Right? Of course, there's a heart line resistance right here in every single channel, which you can see it's touching, it's touching, it's, it's f finding resistance there, breaks down. But if it was to break this heart line here and break out, I know the next um, uh, uh, resistance might be at the top of that channel. So that's another way you can find tops and stuff, guys. Like it, it's, it's weird how this stuff all works out. And it, it, <laughs> you can basically guarantee that it's going to stop somewhere in a channel, in a Fibonacci channel. Uh, even Fibonacci circles. So uh, this is pretty self-explanatory, guys. Like you could learn how to do this in five seconds, as as I just showed you in the video. It's it's very very simple. Okay. So the next thing I show you here is Fibonacci circles. So to use Fibonacci circles, you're gonna need the. We'll go back to the six-hour chart. You're gonna need um, to use the Fibonacci chant uh, fan, like I've done right there. Okay. So you start with the Fibonacci fan. I'll just zoom right in on here. <clears throat> and to use the circles here, which is this this uh, uh, indicator right here, guys. See, it says Fib Circles, which is in the same over here. I think I showed at the start of the video right there. Okay. So, you know, favorite that. Make yourself a favorite bar with, as I was saying before, just find a bunch of things that you think would be helpful. Ways of doing that, guys. Don't go out there and pay for courses about this stuff. Ways of doing that is just uh, go around on, on YouTube, type in like, 
my favorite indicators for trading, um, trading indicators, best indicators, how to find tops in markets, how to find bottoms. And all these YouTubers will be using their favorite indicators, guys. And if they're making a video about it uh, and it's working for them and they're, and they're showing you like, you know, their proof of, oh, look at how much I make and stuff like that. And if it resonates with you, then give it a try, guys. Give it a shot, right? You don't need to go out there and, and pay someone to tell you what to do. Like it's, that's ridiculous. Okay. So um, unless you have the money, guys, if you have a thousand dollars to go out there and, and pay for a system that's going to guide you step by step by step in what to do, then that's great. You know, go ahead and do that. But I know most people watching this video probably don't have a thousand dollars just to listen to someone tell them what to do. So um, let's do this. Okay. So we got the uh, fib circle there. We're going to go, actually, I'm going to go out a little bit more on my chart. I'm going to find a low point. So we'll go from say this low point here. Once again, you can go start anywhere you want. It's not like set in stone. Hey, you got to start right here. Hey, you got to start right here. Whatever kind of thing. If you want to start here, you can. If you want to start here, you can. Anyways, you got to start at a low point. You can't start at a high point and go to a low point. It won't work. So we're going to start at this low point right here. You can start at the same low point that you did with your uh, uh, fan but I'm gonna start at this one here and I'm gonna go from this low point to this high point here. And I'm just gonna look at it. Okay, so I'm not gonna click it and, and that be my final destination of where it's gonna sit. I wanna mess around with this one a little bit, okay? I wanna find, is there a pattern here where I line it up on one of these peaks and it's gonna make a lot of sense. Okay, because with the Fibonacci circle, you can use circles in circles. Okay, so you want to move it around. And what I'm looking for is for all these to line up like that. Okay, so you can see here, if I was to click that, it's going to stay. But you can see there, all those peaks are lining up on that kind of pink circle there. But I haven't clicked it on the peak of a, a, a peak of a peak. So I don't want to do that. Okay. So I want to find here, so this isn't really working out for me. Another one you can see here is, is if, you know, that actually that doesn't work out. Um, it has to be peak, like I can't go like this. Okay, see how I'm trying to point it down there or down here? It has to be on a peak, so you're going from a low to a high. I don't want to use that because this is a new... Uh, candle that candle's not done yet okay so this is actually I'm going to even try down here somewhere uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, trend so also you can look for in these channels here you can look for trends that change or um, you know just look for a pattern like are the wicks the upper wicks, the lower wicks, are they touching somewhere? Okay, when it passes through a ring, does it the market change direction? Okay, so I would leave it here. Holy shit, I think I found something, guys. I would leave it right here. Okay, so I'm going to go right to this peak here. Right there okay so I'm on this peak here and so this lines up with where we are right now so where we are right now it actually could be a top um, with a, a pattern change like it could follow this ring down here find support then move up to here okay so that's what this is telling me here and what you want to look for is you want to look for a bunch of spots where where it's touching the ring and it's doing something like it's following the ring down like this this is a perfect example right here like it's following the ring touches the ring here and then follows it all the way down to the bottom okay because that could actually happen here guys like we could go and it could follow this ring all the way down till it finds support on the fibonacci fan the one that's going this way okay this 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 one right here that we did at the start you know because you can see that's what they do this one followed it all the way down to here and then found support and then started actually went back up the ring and then sideways okay so you can do that and you can do this as well you can put rings inside of rings so this is where most people start to think like oh man this chart just looks crazy but you got to remember i'm on the six hour chart so if i was to go like this use two rings on my chart 
and then go down to a smaller time frame, it's actually going to be readable and I'll be able to follow it and look at it. And, you know, it's going to be a lot of information for me to, to, to look at and make up the uh, decisions there. Okay. So with this, my second ring, my second ring, I can start on the low points of any ring. Okay, so this here, I know you can't really see this because the candles are a different color, but we'll make make it this color. Maybe you can see it better. Yeah, there you go. So you can see this was dropping all down here on this ring. I just pressed the Hintaki Ashi candles there. And I could go like this. Actually, we got to go and make this one. There you go. Okay, so I can go like this. I can, sorry, grab my ring, go on this here because this I think this is the most influence with this ring. It followed it right down. And I can go on the, the bottom of, of this ring where it meets with my fan channel there, which is actually this uh, support here. Click that and then go to this high here, this, this next high point that we are right now, which is the all-time high, I think. Yeah. And I could click on that and then just leave it like that. Okay, that's normally how I like to do it, how I like to set set things up, okay? So this is a bit of kind of more of an advanced lesson, guys, um, just because it is kind of really <laughs> messy looking chart. Um, it's best not to show people this kind of chart because most traders will be like, oh, that's too much going on if they don't know how to read Fibonacci. So um, it'll confuse a lot of people, guys, if, you, if you're trying to show someone something. So... A lot of times I just don't even bother talking about this kind of stuff, but I thought that, uh, you know, this might be a good lesson for you guys to learn this kind of stuff. So we're going to go here. We're going to zoom right in here back to where we were um, in all the images in the, in the uh, group there. And, you know, in our group, it looks kind of something like this. This is kind of what, what we're in right now, what we're looking at. We're trying to find the direction of the market. You can see here um, there's tons of points of contact and influence from Fibonacci. You can see. Um, look, it's followed this ring down here. We've got a, a point there. Um, you know, it's definitely in this area right here. Like there's the uh, uh, Fibonacci uh, fan. You know, it's exactly in there. So it's definitely in, in, you know, working off this Fibonacci here that we've set up. And if we go down to the smaller time frames, look at this, guys. Okay, so if we come down here, okay, so you can see all this. So look at look at this okay so if we zoom in here guys like think this is freaking amazing if you think about it right how accurate this is so we've went from a six hour chart to a one hour chart and we found this here is most likely the down trend line okay that that uh, uh bitcoin this is a bitcoin up coin uh what i like to trade on so most likely if if we start trending down Okay, you can see here this this is uh, the stotch is is coming down. It's gonna you know have a I don't think it's gonna have an early reversal. It'll probably come down and, and sweep back up there, or come down maybe not just touch the bottom but but come down. So if we're coming down, we will most likely come down here. So we know that if this breaks and we start trading in here, then we might actually get a good size drop, and then that would give us a good buy in, right? If we come down here. And it's coming down, it's coming down, it's following this, and it makes it all the way down to here. We know that most likely if it makes it down to here, guys, this would be like a really awesome spot to buy because we can just go back and we can look at all the, the points of, of support here. You know, so look at this, guys. Like, you know, Fibonacci is basically telling us that two things can happen here. We can either come down this channel here, bounce off here, go back up, or if this breaks here, just kind of wait for a bit, stay with the market and see what happens, see if this breaks here. That's basically what Fibonacci is telling us here. It, it's telling us also right here that this ring here could be a resistance as well. So if we do have an early reversal, um, we could bounce off this as resistance. And if we did that, then it would just create a wedge. And then now we're looking at a wedge for our target of when, we're, when are we going to buy in basically kind of thing. So guys... Trading is simple. If you just like really simplify it and, you know, take take your time back up and just look at the chart and like think like, okay, what the hell's the candles doing? What are they doing? Is there a pattern created? Do your Fibonacci on a six hour chart and then zone in on a one hour chart or you can even do this on a 15 minute chart and you'll see it's following this freaking line right here, right? Like it's just 
You know, you could go all the way in at five minutes. It's the same freaking thing. Look at that, guys. I could go in, I could do something stupid, go in on a one minute chart, back out, and I could see every once in a while it's coming really close to that line. You know? So it's definitely this 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 purple line here is something for us, okay? I, I recommend don't trade on a one minute chart. But, you know, 15 minutes and up is, is a good thing to look at because you can actually see a lot of data here. So this line is definitely something there. So, uh, you know, just a quick uh, video here, guys. I, I don't know. I, I put Fibonacci on my chart just to see what was going on. And I, I found, uh, I don't know if I posted it in group yet, but I'm going to. Yeah, I didn't post it in group yet. But the Fibonacci fan, um, I, I saw that it was tons of points of, of um, support. So I was going to post the Fibonacci fan in, in group. And then I was thinking, man, a ton of people in this group, they might not even know what Fibonacci is and how to use Fibonacci in their trades, uh, how to find support and resistance with Fibonacci. Um, also retracement. Actually, you know what? I'll just show you guys that really, really fast here, the retracement with Fibonacci. So we'll, we'll use it on this. Uh, okay. So say, for instance, we're on a four-hour chart. Okay. And I don't have all this mumbo jumbo on my page. Actually, we'll go to a different chart. There you go. This is nice and simple. Okay. So here you go here. This was the last post I think I didn't group was this. Yeah, that there. This was just me finding this. I found a channel here of support or a support line. So uh, I could go to the four hour chart. Um, you don't really want to use Fibonacci retracement on anything below four hours. Okay. One day is the best to use it on. But a lot of times when you're trading, it's hard to use the one day Fibonacci. So um, retracement tool. So I like to start on the four hour and then I'll go in back out and look on the one day. But it's this right here. Okay. Fibonacci retracement. There's also, there's tons of Fibonacci stuff. Like this is a Fibonacci channel, which is basically just the channel tool that's designed in Fibonacci, right? Um, so this one right here, replacement, retracement, sorry. It's in the same thing. It's up here in this, this little thing right there. It's just another one that I've started. Okay, so I've got that, and I can go like this. <clears throat> okay, so if I start at a low point here on the four-hour chart, and I really like to kind of back out pretty big, um, this looks really good to me right here. And if I go and I just click there, drag it up, you can see what's going on. And then I go to the high point. So that high point is that candle we just had um, right there. So if I, you know, just leave it like that, and then I zoom in here. Okay, and you can see that these lines here are lining up with support and resistance. And it's like, I didn't tell it what to do. I just went on the bottom of a, of a wick there, the lowest wick I could find when I backed out on the four hour chart. And then I went to the, you know, the, the high of the trade that's in, you know, that it's doing right now, the, the high of the, the last high, basically, that you see on the chart kind of thing, right? And you can see it's found this support here it's found this resistance it's found this support it's found this resistance support resistance resistance like you know and then of course that there okay so you know that by using this tool this is looking for okay i just sold i'm out of my trade and i want to kind of think about okay where am i going to buy back where could it possibly drop down to right like say for instance it breaks through this green line okay i would break out this Fibonacci retracement tool um, if it breaks that green line and I would think okay it could come down here to this red line here which is the uh, 236 Fibonacci retracement okay and then if it breaks that it could come down here to the uh, 382 Fibonacci retracement could come down here to the halfway point um, could come down here to the uh, 618 Fibonacci retracement guys so this here from uh, three, 382 all the way down to 618. This is what they call the golden ratio. And normally in a big, huge correction, like if we have a big spike and it's like, oh man, you know, everybody made a bunch of money and, and everyone's selling now. And, and, and you know, there's going to be a huge retracement, a big pullback, what they call a correction, a huge correction. Normally, if you're on the four hour chart or the one day chart, it's going to land somewhere in this area, which is the golden ratio is the uh, th uh, 0.382 and down to the 0.618, okay, in this this area right here. I'll just put a little block in there so you guys can see. So normally it would come down here, okay? 
the only scenario is is a scenario like we're in right now where we're in a bull market okay and a bull market doesn't happen all the time like normally it only happens like once every four years or so you actually be in a true traditional bull market and we're actually in one right now guys which is pretty exciting but uh this here in a bull market normally it won't happen and it'll come down to the first fibonacci or it'll come down to your support that you've found through a you know like that support right there that i found okay but normally if you're in just a normal market, which is a sideways market with a couple up and down spikes kind of thing like that, or candles up and down, I should say, um, you know, or sideways down or whatever, yeah, this stuff will work out, guys. That golden ratio stuff, if we get like a little run, it'll normally come back down to, to in the, you know, in this area down here, okay? So that's basically it from me. I'm, I haven't bought back yet, guys. I've sold a little bit. And uh, as you can tell in the, the post here, I said that this morning that I've sold, I've took, I've took some profit there. Not everything, of course. I just, you know, sold, sold a bit there, made 19% profits off that last little trade. It was basically this here from here to here, I believe. Yeah, four hour chart from here to here. We can use this indicator here, okay, which is the log growth curves indicator. And by using this, you can see you know, we'll delete all that. You can see w what's really going on with Bitcoin here, guys, right? There's a, a, a top there. You know, we could move on up here and hit this, which would be around $100,000, but it's more likely it's going to maybe go up a little bit more past 50000 or whatever and then come back down and hit this bottom line down here, and then it would make that move up to, and it'd definitely be over 100000 then. Right, because if you look at this, like we're probably going to do something like this, where it's you know goes up, definitely higher because we're higher than that right now, goes up and then comes back down, and then goes up again, guys. Because to me, looking at this, I just don't think it's going to go way up here, and then but you know it's going to come down again, is what I'm saying. So if you're thinking like, oh man, I missed Bitcoin, oh I missed my chance or whatever, no, <laughs> you didn't miss anything. It's 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 going to come back down. Right, most likely we're gonna go up a bit and then come back down. It could even come down halfway and then go back up and you know whatever kind of thing like that. Um, but anyways, this is this is kind of what we're in there. And this this indicator here, guys, is called uh, Bitcoin uh, Long Growth Curves. Okay, and it's a very good indicator just to see, you know, to back out on a weekly chart. I'm on a weekly chart right now just to back out and just have a look at things. And it just kind of puts your puts you kind of at a peace of mind. Um, uh, buying Bitcoin right now is not a very smart thing to do if you're buying as an investment just to hold because we could be at a top right now, guys. I don't know. No one knows. We could be at a top right now and we could drop back down to, you know, 20K or whatever uh, kind of thing. But if you've bought Bitcoin like most people did, um, if you bought Bitcoin in 2017 or whatever, you know, it's gone up a lot there. Uh, if you were one of the smart people and you bought uh, Bitcoin after this big drop here and you bought it somewhere around here where it was 10,000 or so, um, you know, we probably might not see a $10,000 Bitcoin again, just because this is such strong support. If you look back in time here, look at how many, you know, supports resistance. And remember, this is the weekly chart, right? This, uh, touches that it's had here. So the odds of it breaking this are very, very low. There'd have to be, which is possible, a stock market crash or something. Um, to uh, basically break this line here. Like, remember this back in, I think this was March. Yeah, March, this was the stock market crash right here, which brought Bitcoin down and actually broke through this line. And guys, I actually, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I lost a lot of money here because I was looking at this chart here and I had my stop losses set at this line here and my stop losses didn't fill because the market was dropping so fast, no one was willing to buy. And uh, I was stuck in most of this, you know, I did buy back a lot down here, but um, <laughs> to be honest, you know, uh, it's nine, ten thousand uh, dollars. You know, I had cryptos, uh, Bitcoin bought because I was trading. Bitcoin bought at nine or ten thousand dollars, and went all the way through this drop down here. Stop losses didn't get hit, and uh, you know, some of it got hit, and then bought back a little bit down here, and then you know trading all, all along here. So it's fine. But this stuff does happen, guys. If the stock market does crash again, we could see this happen again where it breaks through this this line, this white line. And we could see like a, you know, as I was saying, like a $10,000 Bitcoin again. 
Um, so don't think it's, uh, you know, uh, you know, you're too late to, to get in there and buy a cheap Bitcoin because it will happen again, guys. We could get a Bitcoin that's 20000 or or $30,000 again. It's not always going to be 50000 bucks kind of thing. Okay? So that's it from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, covered Fibonacci, covered this curves indicator thingy, my bobber. And, uh, you know, those are two pretty good tools uh, to use there. So if you want to watch the video again, you can. Um, if you're watching this video on YouTube and you're like, who the hell is this guy? Uh, I have a, a telegram group that I've shown you and the link for that telegram group is in the video description below. So you can get in the telegram group. It's hundred percent free. Don't charge anything there. Um, you know, that's what the telegram group's about. So that's it. See you guys. Bye-bye.